Okay, here we are. We're going to try this again. This is Seven Days to Die with a New York Undead mod for Alpha 21. This was a download. And we're going to play Insane. This is mostly city. And we're not going to do any green zone activity. We're going to stay out of the center. We're just going to do our, what I normally do. It's a comfortable way to get good action for me. That's what I like doing. It's more of an action game than a RPG. <laughs> Uh, loot abundance, 200. Almost like Daisy, except definitely not Daisy. Um. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's look. So, we're, this is this. Uh, insane, 300%. Good. Blood moon count. Uh, night speeds, nightmare. Feral speeds, run. Blood Moon speed is Nightmare. I've noticed, though, that if they turn Feral, they just go crazy fast anyway. Or are Feral, they don't turn Feral. That would be interesting. Like, if there was a area effect that turned these things Feral in real time. Oh, that would be scary as hell. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Alright. Uh, should be good. Let's go. So we are now in New York. This is New York City here, apparently. Uh, we're in the wasteland, you can tell, because we're standing on rocks. We have a limited amount of time to get our button gear and make our plan and go before things start showing up and trying to eat us. Okay. <laughs> I, I like to call this a slow motion speed run. Because if you get it going right, I'm sure this could last a couple of days. Uh, in game time, and then probably, you know. Well, you know how it goes, like sometimes a month or two. If you can get the right edge on it. That's kind of what I'm trying to do, is get the right edge on it. So I can make it. Alright, clamp. Uh, and once, once you get to that point, it just it's wow, it's amazing. You don't know what's gonna happen next. You don't know when you're gonna die next. <laughs> hmm. And since I have it on insane, it's pretty much that way from the get-go, which is the fun part. So I've kind of taken the fun part and put it in the front <laughs> for me. Now, if you could find a way for me to explain that simply, I'd be in your debt. But that's what I'd love to be able to describe to folks when they ask me what I do here. Is I take the fun part and I put it up front. <laughs> it turns more into an action thing than a an RPG, but it definitely is the game. It's just a whole different frequency. Okay, craft block. Some really funny things can happen to you because you don't do stuff that you, you expect. You have to make things up as you go because sometimes it just gets out of hand too quick too often 
gonna get a bunch of rocks here. I think it's important to just kind of pile up right now so I don't have to stop later and get rocks. Get some small stones so I can make some arrows. I used to play at 4K, but it just wasn't as smooth because I can't do 100 frame, 120 frames a second. So this is actually much better, a lot better than it was at 4K. Excuse me. And on your phone, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to care if it's 4K or not, or on your tablet, unless you're like looking like way close to it. And still, you won't care. And YouTube's going to compress a hell out of it anyway. I mean, <laughs> so right now I'm at 2160. Um, and I think I've cut off the bottom numbers, as you can see. Uh, the output to OBS isn't quite right. You can see it. It doesn't really matter, though, because you're not paying attention to that part. And it's actually better because you get more screen to see. So on your phone, <laughs> it's formatted better, even though the bottom's cut off. And the only piece is all about the gameplay. is the action, not, not the game as much. i got to fix it anyway. Um, okay, so this run or next run or something. I don't want to stop the video or edit. You know, I just want to go. And if it's wrong, like the, the video's wrong or something, I'll fix it next run. It's not going to matter that much for the video. Unless you really care how much food I have and how much water I have right now. I mean, I guess you would. I don't know. Yeah, you probably would. Alright, I'll, I'll fix it next round. Or if it screws up here, I'll, I'll stop and do it again, but... I remember that. It's about the only thing though. The sound is good. I've got the audio ducking going, so you should be able to hear me even if I'm very quiet. Oh my goodness, I should still duck. You should still hear me. You know, that kind of thing. So, you know, it's coming together. It's just not instant. It's a labor of love, right? Yeah. Let's get it. Ooh, cooking pot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's what I needed right there. That's exciting. For me, that's a cooking pot. I needed that, like, right off. And I learned last time that it's really more about resources, even though it feels more like an action game. Because I got in a tight spot last time, and I, I did, really didn't need to be there. And even on an easy level game, I would have died doing that, you know? Um, that was just, okay, you know, I can learn from that. Alright, so let's get this out of the way. Track campfire. Get our points. And I'm going to try an intelligence build because, you know, it scales pretty fast and the cattle prod's pretty cool. And it really, it doesn't really take care of them as well as fast as, this, as the club does, but it does get them out of the way. So as far as crowd control goes, um, I guess it's more akin to a caster at that point, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, okay, get rid of this guy because we don't care about the the, the traitor because it's always going to take us to the center. So I'm going to kill him. And we can only be in the city. Um, no green zone. We have to survive what's around us. That's why I made the loot 200%. Because otherwise you'd starve. There's just no way. I tried and tried and tried with 100%. I just couldn't do it. But 200% is pretty comfortable. You can get going, so that's what I'm trying. And it's not usually the loot that kills you, <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, but it can. It's really tough. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this. Cardio and pain tolerance. This is really important, I think. When I went through training, this is what I learned. That if you want to survive, you better put stuff into survival. Seems simple, but it's, it's just not simple to me. It is now, though. Okay, so then the point here is, um, if you put... Po I don't know anything about this, so I'm just talking out my butt at this point. If you put points into something, it's more likely that it'll show up here. Now, what I've learned a little bit, I don't, I don't want to cheese the game, that's not my deal, is if you put stuff into passives... So I'll call them. I'm thinking through this as I explain it, so forgive me if I screw up. It's fine, though. If you put stuff into passives, that means that the points towards actives aren't there, such as spear, right? Or pummel peat, right? 
uh, things like that. And it'll show you on here if it if it increases the drop rate, and I haven't really done the... It'll ruin the game for me if I start picking it apart. But the idea, though, is if you put them in passives, that means that the support... Yeah, that's what I'll use. Support tools will show up here instead of the... So it's like there's the the offense and the defense, I think, if you can think of it that way. So if I put them into passives and I didn't put them into any sort of active forward things, that made no sense, that means you're going to get more rare supports first. And those are the things that are really hard to get because you're always concentrating, or at least I am always concentrating on, you know, is your club strong enough? Do you have enough armor, right? But you put it into cardio, it doesn't have anything to raise. So it just puts them into support. And so it, <laughs> that's how you're able to get those super rare support items like day one, I think. So we're going to try that. I put everything into support. I, did, I didn't see anything there. So, the, so I shouldn't be able to get like, you know... All right, yeah, you get the idea. So let's look. What do we get? I'm not even going to look until I'm full. I'm just going to go because I don't have time. <laughs> yeah, things like food. Yeah, because you need food. You, you need the um, bacon and eggs first. Because otherwise, you know, you, you're risking having to fight rarity or scarcity. If you can just run out and grab yourself a couple of eggs and kill yourself maybe something that drops some meat, then you can make bacon and eggs. And if you have that skill, which is pretty high up on the food to start with, then that's just one thing you don't have to worry about and you can concentrate on everything else. But until you get to that point, you're going to be worried about starving. So, that makes sense. I mean, this game is brilliant. Whoever made it, guys, gals, folks, thank you. It's an awesome game. Okay, let's go. I think we have our plan, at least for right now. I need to make some blocks. I've been explaining, and sometimes that takes me away from the idea of playing. Hmm. I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to... Do I have any arrows? I don't kill bunnies. I don't kill chickens. Unless they're, you know, bigger than a dog. <laughs> and then, sure, yeah. If a chicken came after me that was bigger than a dog, yeah, I'd kill it for sure. See, they're, they don't come after you. They're fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I, I want to keep my level low for now. I just want to loot. And by loot, I mean books. Primarily. Okay, I'm going to slow down. Yeah, that cardio really, really helps. I learned that when I was training. I'm like, it's it's like the only thing. And I remember way back in in the, well, of course this is kind of way back because it's, it's alpha, but <laughs> that was the thing they always said, you know, is use cardio first. You remember those old videos? Well, they're old now, but all right, six, seven, eight years ago, I forget when they first started on that thing, where the people really started coming out and say, here's the points you need to use. Because people are like, this game's too fucking hard. I can't beat it. I don't understand. And they're like, we know. It's different. You're welcome. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, dude. I'm not going to kill a fucking chicken. Damn. Okay. If I starve, I'll kill a chicken. All right? But only if I starve. Ooh, what's that? Crack a book. I learned also that I didn't get my base early enough. I was too interested in getting all the goodies. I was getting all this dopamine on, oh, look at all this stuff I've got. And I didn't even think about food and water. Now, I, now I'm also going to be really, really, really greedy on where I'm going to stay. I'm going to find that spot first. I want the cracker book with the, with the um, little room on top and the little dog in it. And I'm, if, as soon as I find it, first I'm going to go in here and get some clothes. And I pull the zombies out, but okay, here we go.
It's cool, I got cotton. That's not gonna wake him up or anything. I don't want my level going up. No, I don't want to put any armor on. I want to stay fast. I'm gonna stay light. I want my energy to stay up. Because I'm just fighting the clock at the moment. You ever get all the way through a video and realize you never hit record? <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> I need three duct tape for forge. Yeah, that was really nice to see that medicine. That was cool. Yeah, it brings me down a notch or two. I feel okay now. I've got three of those. I also need soil. And that's what these are right here. That's, I should make a shovel. Yeah, I'll make a shovel. So yeah, I'm spending less time looting all the boxes and spending more time on survival up front because I, 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 that's where I messed up. I didn't do all this stuff last time. I just got all the goodies and I, I wasn't prepared when Nightfall came. I almost made it though. That cliffhanger was amazing to me. I'm like, it really surprised me legitimately. And then I thought it through and I'm like, oh, of course, of course. But of course in the moment I was like, who knows? Couldn't think fast enough to figure out that she was going to go around the building that I couldn't see and path up the ladder that I put for myself and came down through the roof on top of me. I, I, uh. It was a sure surprise to me. I shouldn't be up here. And also when I tried to find, yeah, two things. I left all my stuff at the Cracker Book. And then two, I didn't actually mark where the Cracker Book was. I said I was gonna mark it. I said I should mark it, but I didn't mark it. <laughs> and then when I went back to find it, I went too far to the left that way. And I hit, I think the wrong Cracker Book <laughs> twice. Which is cool because that means there's three Cracker Books in this area. And I'm like, ooh, okay. I'll take that. That's not cheating. That's part of the map. You take whatever you get when the map gives it to you. And if it's if it's custom made like that, like that, and accepted by the community, use it as is. Okay. But use it on the level that <clears throat> gives you a um, a percentage of failure if you're wrong. You know, for gameplay. It, this game's kind of like Frogger meets Pac-Man, <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> like the power pellets or the books I'm trying to get. No, or are those the power pellets? I don't know. Do they have power pellets? Let me think. What would you get to instantly turn yourself like into a machine against these? And they don't run away, that's the thing. Okay, so this isn't really Pac-Man. So two things I want. I want something that'll allow the <laughs> my demands. Something to, to make him run away. And then I want something to make him turn turn feral, like in real time. Some animation doesn't have to be dramatic, just obviously enough that the player sees, oh, shit, that thing turned feral. Now it's green. Now I'm fucked. Run. That moment is what I want. They did that a little bit with some mods. Have you, have you seen the mod that has the, the giant ghosts in it? That was really cool. Those are, those are, um, 
group mods, I think. You can't do that one alone unless you're like totally jacked up and you have all your stuff and you can just rah! It's just too much ammo, it, it, you know, for me. I still couldn't beat them. It's like trying to fight that huge giant pig all the time. I'm like, yeah, in a group, but by yourself. Let's, let's get realistic, guys. Now I'm going to try to take on some of this stuff alone just for fun, but... I know I'm going to die. It's just I'm not sure if it's going to be fun. That's the point. I want it to be engaging like this. This is right at the edge of my ability. And the only reason I'm able to get through this day is because I've done it like, you know, how many times now? It's like a speed... It's like a slow motion speed run. Okay. I don't want any gas yet. I do want a wrench eventually. All right. So good. Let me take a look at the map, see where I've gone. Unfortunately, I started in the same spot as last time. And you know, I think. Let me see. Ooh, duct tape. Duct tape, duct tape. Um, <laughs> yes. Okay, so now I want advanced engineering so I can get my forge. I mean, today is just... I should combine day one, two, and three into one video. That's just polite, you know? Because I'm sure you're saying to yourself, look, dude, if you're going to get to day three, great. But you've done day one and two, like three times now so do us a favor and just do one through three compile it together and if it works great don't tell us if you win you know the cliffhanger is part of the fun but just do one two three and if you do them in series one two three four five six right i mean we're still going to go to the end and see if you died but see that's the thing is if you're looking to just see if i died you're never really going to watch the video that's not what the video is really about and it's not really going to matter to you at that point but if you watch a little bit of it and you go through it, that's where the, especially if I'm able to build some suspense, like that cliffhanger, that was totally by mistake. But it, for me, it was like really engaging. I'm like, I like that. If I can do that, like all the time, like that would keep it driving forward regardless of, but it's all about, you know, if you build a better mousetrap, it matters to me you watch and you have a good time. That's it. That's all I care about. If this turns into a job, I'm out. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> nuh -uh, I'm out. <laughs> I'll play the game, and I'll still send it out, but I don't know if I'll, I'll advertise on YouTube. I'll just, you know, give it to people that want to see it, but I doubt it'll get that far. <clears throat> Honestly. Mm, I like that building. I coined it the, the, the Fallout building because I thought that it was like the other Fallout building, but it's no nowhere near like it. And I also thought that it, it led you to... Uh, it doesn't really matter. But that's uh, I, I really like that building. <clears throat> I might make a POI or a, a camp out of it, but I don't really know it that well. And I'm thinking if I do that, it might risk what's happening here. And that might be fine. You know, taking risks is part of the fun. But it's not really engaging if the audience doesn't know what you're doing. They're like, why are you doing that? <laughs> Hello, you know. <clears throat> Water. Um, let me see if I can make a. No, no, he's gonna come over here. No, so is she. Bye. I got, okay, so it's getting a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna have to become more defensive on where I sit. But I've got to do some management. I see where I'm going. Okay. Oh, yeah, buddy. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I just didn't mean it. Okay. Can I make a bum bag? Yes. Can I make a small backpack? No. Nope. Okay, I'll put that on. Oh, do I? Oh, I, I need. Okay, so I need leather. That's my thing. I need leather so I can make myself a weapon. I've got a short iron pipe. I'm not going to the green zone. I don't want to stay near near the green zone either because the easier guys come out of there. I, I really wish I could just go ahead and delete the green zone, but I don't want to edit this map. I want to keep it native. There's so much to this map, I, I don't want to mess it up. 
if I can get to the upper levels, I mean, not only do I get new content, but you get new content. It's like, you know, the not necessarily the material that you see, but the way it's presented changes a little bit. And the frequency gets faster, and it's just, if you can do it, it turns really, really, really fun. But you got to get there first. So yeah, day one through three should be one video. Uh, from now on, that's how it is. Uh, day one through three is one video. Day three through six is one video. And Horde Night is one video. That makes a series three videos. And that won't... It's not a series, it's a, it's a set of a series. But that's not going to exasperate or exhaust the audience, I think. Yeah, I think it'll be fine because that's how I would want to see it. I don't want to watch this guy do day one over and over again just for day one or day two, especially day two. Who cares? The beginning of day one's fun because you can see what happens and if you make it, but... Yeah, I really only want to highlight the this, this stuff that you want to be able to see, but I'm not going to edit my videos. You're going to have to fast forward if you want to see the good parts. And I'll tell you where they are if you want, but... I'm not going to edit them. They're going to go raw just as they are, and I think that's amazing because the game is amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna stop gushing about the game for now. For now. <clears throat> you find me a better one, and then I'll start gushing about that one. I better a subjective. I, you know, I, I apologize if I've offended anyone. At the same time, don't I don't give a damn. This this <laughs> this is an awesome game. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Okay, good. Hmm. Good. Okay, so I'm still looking for a cracker book with a topper on it. And it's 1128. I've got an... I have my cooking pot. I have two eggs. My water's... I have four water, which is pretty amazing. Okay. Slow down. Yeah, the extra frame rate really helps. Especially in the city when you draw everything. Look at that. Well, not over there, but over here. It gets pretty dense. Just like me. Hmm. No, no. Mm -mm. We don't play you.
need some wood. Okay. Let's go get some wood. my base here <laughs> there are many like it but this never mind <laughs> how long has it been since I saw that movie yeah. um that was kind of dumb okay yeah that was that was just embarrassing but hey you know you do what you do you learn uh, do I have enough arrows I would I need arrows for this Nah, I can hit him with the he's too unpredictable to just make two blocks. So what I need for arrows? Let's just do a bunch of these real quick. Quick. Uh, what I need wood. Okay. That's fine. Let's do that. Take a few minutes, get some wood, make sure you're stocked up for it, and then just go kill that dog. Take your base, get set, and then go out and just rage on the city, and then come back. <clears throat> That's good animation there. Uh. Oh, this is silly. I shouldn't have done that. It's fine. I don't care. Let's go. I made a way up anyway. Um, front door's fine. Okay, get my energy now. Same trick as last night. Except instead of, yeah, we're right here. So I was here last time. Yeah. Yeah, so at the time it was a it was a she. She came around, she started whacking here, started whacking here. And I have my ladder over there, up the to the roof. If you want to see the whole sequence, you can look at the last video. It's at the end. It was definitely my proudest moment because I was very, very surprised. And I was like, oh, I'm dead. It was great. Normally, that's not how I think of it. <laughs> All right. So now we open the door. Hopefully. I'll go up and get the doggy's attention first. Now, these are not exactly my favorite because the birds can peck through them. So I'm just going to get rid of them now. And I'll fill them up with blocks or something nicer, like a bulletproof glass or something. Where's that doggy? Okay. Where's the doggy? Okay. Did he spawn? Maybe he hasn't spawned. Oh, there he is. Here we go. Just take it nice and easy. No, no need to get all crazy. actually pretty lucky. <laughs> he could have jumped on that dog and got me. And one hit from that guy would probably take me down to, well, uncomfortable levels. Yeah, I'll do one, two, day one, two, three into one video. If I don't make it past three, you won't get a video. And that'll be good because it'll sparse out my content. Plus it'll give you something to watch and not have to worry about, you know, let's just go through one day at a time. Yes, it's hard. Yes, I may die. But if I do three at a time, it means something. <clears throat> and that's really all you need anyway to get somebody to watch you. Hey, this is cool. Watch this. Um, what is it? I need a bone knife. Okay. Come here. Dude. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, memories. Okay. I thought I'd making a different POA in my base, but this was just so effective last time. And so I'm just going to use it again. Besides, it's got a bed in it. It's got a lamp. You know, it's got... 
Oh, it's good. I like it. Let's go here. Plus, it's right next to Wasteland. And what I should do and figure out is how to secure the bottom, because last time they just start chewing through everything down there. So here's what I'm thinking. Instead of doing my base right here, let's just go up four spots, and they, they won't hear me. Let's do that. Yep. That's what we'll do. That makes more sense. I don't want to hear them all night again. So let's be careful with our stuff. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm not going to call a Screamer today. Thank you. Although, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe calling a Screamer here is a good idea. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> what did George Carlin say? <laughs> These are the thoughts that kept me out of the really good schools. I think that's what he said. Right. Not a bad start, says I. second intermission. You know, set up, and so do I. Let's go. ladder so in case I'm sprinting or something or I'm limping or I have a broken leg or something I can still get in all right so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do this all right and then I'm gonna do this now it needs to be two blocks up for them not to be able to get in so I need to destroy this thing eventually that could be my downfall because last time I said I was gonna do something I didn't do it and I died because of it. So. Yeah. I'm still not doing it. Oh, that's funny. It's a 
resource management game first. You can spread that away from the dead. Regardless of how hard the environment is. As far as length of video, I haven't really been paying attention to it, but it could give it away if it's 35 minutes. It could be like, oh wait, no, he died here to stay the end, or he died as you stay too. Don't watch it. But if I make them all the same, you can't see if I died or not unless it didn't make it to that point. And again, that's just being sneaky. And again, I don't care to edit. So I'm kind of conflicted there. It's an interesting puzzle, the whole thing. And I am a fan how how fair it can be. I've seen it I've seen it like take care of me in a way, even though I'm a free view or user or whatever, it's, it's, it's amazing. I'm like, what? Who thought of this in, in this way? I, mean, I, I want to meet that guy. That's like, wow, dude. <laughs> or, or, you know, bam. Amazing work. I couldn't have done this without that. Kill him? Uh, uh, so somebody in the forum or online said, hey, you know, you can't hurt the zombies with the tree. I heard the, the tree hit the zombie once. The pain, you know, okay, maybe I'm just full of shit. I'm pretty sure that if you, the thing is, is he, he pathed around it. You can hit these zombies with trees as they fall. I'm, I'm convinced of it. Of course, I was convinced last time that the screamer in the POI wasn't a real screamer, and well, you saw how that went. And if you didn't, well, imagine how that went. Yeah. No, I remember the original idea of this. The original idea of this was to create a playlist where you could just hit the playlist and it would go through with no ads or anything. It would just go day one, day two, day three until you're dead. So that way a person say, in my target audience in my brain was the guy or gal or whomever who was sitting on the couch, either sick or out of it or tired or whatever it is, doesn't want to do anything and just wants to see something, entertain their brain so they don't go crazy or bored. It's like TV, anyway. Just a specific slice of TV, yeah. And they should be able to hit the playlist and just let it run. And it should just go and go and go until I die. And it looks like a movie because there's no commercials, there's no ads, there's, you know, it's it's good video, it's decent, decent commentary, right? Something fun. That's what I want. So you can just hit the playlist and just like veg out and pass out if you have to, just to deal with whatever it is you're dealing with. Call it a recovery video. That's what it is. It is a recovery video. If you're just like sitting there and you're like, oh man, whatever it is, fuck that. You know, just, here, just hang out. I guarantee I don't care. One way or the other. You're, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> That's my pitch. It was a good one? Did you like it? Okay. I'm not going to use those words in my video. I don't want to use any of those words in my video. If you like it, you'll do it, and I shouldn't have to tell you, and I'm not going to tell you. Not your mom, not your dad, of course not your mom, not your boss. I don't give a fuck. I just love this, and I, I think you ought to, too.
Here we go. So, I need eggs now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I freaked out for nothing. Uh huh. Yeah, you look in the lower left hand corner, it says weak. Yeah, dude, your pitch was weak. <laughs> Even the game's like, dude, just play the game. And then I'm talking back to the game like, dude, okay. Oh, I've got to get some honey. All right, 1612. Okay, so it's going to get a little bit more difficult. It's going to get a little more dense. We're doing good on wood now. Let me just find some, some honey and some more eggs just to make it. And then I'll be good to just kind of raid on back to the... base we made. There we go. We need some eggs. Man, I'm not going to lie to you here. I'm glad there aren't any landmines. It did make me pay attention more, but now I'm not paying attention at all to the ground. So I'm not sure if that kind of training helped me at all. <laughs> Maybe it did. I don't know, maybe like subconsciously my brain's like, watch out for the landmines, you might die. I gotta start thinking about cobblestone too. That's gonna be the thing, I can't use wood uh, when it comes to blocks. I also wanna get to the point where I don't have to use blocks as much. I should be good enough to at least survive a little bit just by doing hand-to-hand -hand combat me melee stuff just straight on the ground if I do it right. Um, if I don't, then, well, you know, you've seen what happens. Let me get some of these, too. I need to think about... Yeah, I need to think about getting some clay like probably a lot of it here in a second. How's our food? Hey, yeah, we're not gonna run out of water today like we did last time. No. I had just a white sheet just go over me, if that makes any sense. When I realized, oh shit, I have no water left. You know the Lycon in the lower left hand corner was red. And I, was, I was like, okay, I've got 66 energy and once that's out, that's it. And I just, oof, that was, that was kind of a sinking moment there. That's cool, look at that. Across the way, I think I saw snow, maybe. Yeah, there's snow, oh, even better. I'm close to snow, which means I'm close to food. Now I, I, I will go ahead and kill it anything is trying to kill me that's bigger than a rabbit or a chicken. No, no, no. No, no, no. I should make them random times too because that would confuse me whether or not I died or not. And I have been making the random times. I go back and look, and some's 115, some's 45, some's, you know, 130. Yeah, that last one I did, last uh, last two episodes, were definitely my favorite. Oh, shit. Energy out. button but I didn't jump that's okay oh I should have made blocks okay into the 
out of the frying pan into the fire if you're not careful, though. Stop. Oh, my keyboard stopped lighting up. I can't see what I'm typing. Good time for my keyboard to stop lighting up. Check the battery. What do they say? It's always something. I also changed the filter of the game to dramatic. It was just normal, now it's dramatic. I don't know if you can tell. But I think it looks really good. I'll switch it back if it doesn't. You just let me know if this is okay, because I, I, I kind of like it. But it may come out like extra poppy with colors because it's a dramatic on OBS. I thought it looked good. I was like, ooh, yeah, we'll try that. Is it cringe to put an NFT as your thumbnail? Probably. I don't have any NFTs, I'm just curious. Oh shit. Diamond. Hey, you guys Can I do it? Yes. Gotta get just right to the middle. That's a good rhythm now. That's good. Now, just get your bearings, get your wood blocks, a little bit more of this. I'm thinking this is good just for the coal, because if I can make some explosives, some pipe explosives, that'll really, really kind of handy. Because the amount of boom you get, well, okay, not boom, but the amount of DPS you get from one explosion when placed properly is just very satisfying. Solid run today. Well thought out. Well executed so far to this point. It's going to start to fray out after this day, though, because, you know. Things start to happen. And my goal... I, I've seen it naturally. If, if you go through and you do, you know, day one, day three, day five, day seven... You don't fatigue your audience, so I'll do that one, three, five, and seven. Um, unless you want to see all the days, I don't know. Of course, if I don't show the days, you don't, you don't, you risk not, you risk me dying, and you don't see it. Sunrise creeping through my window. I haven't slept all night. This, you know. Eyes underneath my eyes, dark and bold. I've seen better days, or so I'm told. I pull my curtains close, the sides I can. Beg the darkness to lend a helping hand. Fumble the fabric. Between my shaking hands Starting to look like a tired old man Sunrise creeping through my window 
Just wrote it right there. Hey, yeah, that was that was cool. That was my first time. I literally just wrote the lyrics, and then that was the first time trying to sing them. Too. And my level has not gone nearly as high, so now the game stage should be manageable. I hear you. Eighteen, twelve. Oh, I'm in the wasteland. I just saw it. Slow down. Loot's bare in the wasteland. At this level, does it really matter? I don't know. Just the bear in it over there anyway. It's alright. Yeah, I saw I had noticed the bear. I need triple monitors. I'm not sure if I can handle doing this in total VR. I'm not sure it would come out properly on YouTube anyway. thought that I should get my baton up right away, but you just, you really don't. You, I think you need to get all your survival stuff in, in place first. And then once your survival stuff stops um, dropping, then put it into your baton. And that's somewhere around the middle of day two. I mean is the rare stuff drops like that. Now if that if this is what I think it is, which would be really cool. A little trick to get Yeah, that was amazing. That means I can get honey from any tree. That's that's way worth it. If I had a choice of getting a level five baton day one or that, it would definitely be that. I'm not going to drive a motorcycle over if I ever get one. Let's 
get 500. At least it's a good cobblestone set to do. And then we can put some in the forge. Tomorrow I want to have all cobblestone blocks ready. Because my DPS is going to be really low, and so I'm going to need to be able to stand up there for a little while. And the game becomes, can you get them not to jump on each other and kill you? I also want to build a little bit of... Uh, above the book that I have, and I can do that tonight, I don't have to do that now. I don't need to, to uh, take your time and your cycles over that. I was fortunate. is nice and smooth. I like that. Okay. I'm almost to the point of stopping, stop thinking about the technology and just playing the game. All the little fiddling around and what you need to do to make it comfortable. I'm pretty much there. That's a nice feeling. Oh yeah, I need to get um, mechanical parts to make a... I got five of them. I think I need, what, ten? I forget. To make a wrench. Big money, no whammies. Mm, stop. Oh, yes. Am I still in the wasteland? Where's my base? I, I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm going to just be like, let's just go to the base. Let's just call it. Let's get there. Sometimes you just have to do that. I'm doing good. I got 106 health. I, I just, I got 42 blocks. Not again. Dude. I don't know what point they're trying to prove, but 40, again, look. Six mechanical parts. Give me All right, do I have a forge? Let's find out. Yes. Nice. Now if I can get some eggs, I'll be totally satisfied with the day. Which I think I do, and I have. Okay. Alright, no, I'm 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 good. I'm happy with this. I'm not too happy with him. I don't think he asked me that. I don't think he cared. <laughs> All right. Let's just get there now. I'm sure glad that I went ahead and secured it early because now I'd be like, ooh, how am I going to get that dog out of there? Especially if I was like, you know, just messing around, not paying attention, which never happens. getting greedy. I admit it. I see it. I'm still doing it. What did I say? I want to read the cracker book tonight? Oh, um. Whew. 
Well, that's a big tree right there. Now that should be my cracker book. I marked it. Welcome home. Now I said I was going to destroy this this thing, so I'm going to. Oh my lord! Let's go the other way. Never mind. Oh hell! I can't move. That was kind of a frightening moment. Okay. We made it. Sort of. I'm not going to fuck around here, guys. One last thing. Here we go. Welcome home. Fire it up. Thank you for joining me on day one. New York Undead 21. I'll go ahead and get the space done above me. Get ready for day two, get everything all set. And then we'll do day two. I'm feeling good. This is good. I'm going to get to Horde Night this time. I can feel this. Oh. I'm a bit wrecked. Thanks for joining me. Bye.